Hello everybody, welcome to the video. My name is Crypt, and in today's video, I'm gonna be teaching you guys how to create macros for Arc Survivor Evolved. Okay, so it's very simple. Let's just go straight into it. So over here right now, I have my Logitech G Hub app opened. Okay, now let me just go back to the main screen. So this is the main screen. Okay, the first thing you wanna do is you wanna make sure that you activate the Arc Survivor Evolved profile over here on the top right. So click right here, type Arc, and there you go. I have my profile. If you don't have this profile, okay, what you can do is you're gonna click right here on this top left, go to games and applications, click scan now, and you should find Arc and it should work just like so, okay? So let's click over here on Arc Survival Evolved now. Now we have the profile activated. I wanna put the macro on my mouse, so I'm gonna click on my mouse choice. There you go. And now I'm inside of the um, assignments tab over here, okay? You have sensitivity tab over here, assignments, and light sync. In my case, I want to play with the assignment tab. Now, as you can see, I already have a few things set up. Okay, just so I can show you guys. So let's go over them real quick. Let's go to walk. Now, what you guys need to keep in mind is that for you to know the key binds, you need to actually open options. So let's open options. Press escape, options. Click over here on this little keyboard. Okay. Or the controller, depending on what you're using. I'm going to click on the keyboard. Okay. And over here, you guys can actually see what each key does. Okay. And you guys can also define specific keys too. So, in my case right here, the whistle area is right here on the bottom right. It should be that true for you. Okay, center right. Okay. And then over here I have all move to, whistle all aggressive, whistle all follow me, whistle all stay put, everything. Okay. So, in my current Logitech right now, this is what I have. As you see over there, I have period, I have J, and I have T set up. Okay. So, period makes makes all the dinos around me attack this target. So the target I'm looking at. J, you guys cannot see, but basically makes all the dino follow me. Every single dino that's around me, follow me. And then T makes, of course, one dino follow me. Okay. But T, you can also hold T to open the menu. So let's try that right now. So let's hold T. So I'm holding the button on my mouse. And that's, what is it doing? It's actually opening the menu. Okay. But I can also just press it quickly to make this dino follow me. Just like so. Okay. If I press um, the other button, the middle button over there, okay, J, that's gonna make everything follow me. So let me just make it stop for a second. There you go. And I'm gonna make it follow me, ready, J? There you go, okay? Now, what's the purpose of doing this? Well, as you know, J is very far away from WASD, which means that while you're moving around, for you to press J, it's kind of hard. I mean, for me at least, I don't have those, I don't have such long fingers. So it's really hard for me to reach all the way to J. And of course, there's another way to fix this. You can simply move J a little closer, but you can't really do that for all the all the keybinds. It's gonna be really messy. So what I do is I put it on the mouse, okay? So as you can see right now, I can walk, I can chill, and I can still press J on my button on my mouse very quickly, and I'm making the Rex follow me, okay? Now, of course, the Rex is a big creature. And it has a big radius, so it doesn't really have to. Okay, it's, it's a little lost right now, but yeah, it's following me. Anyways, so you also have period, which is the other button over there on my mouse. And what it does, they makes the Rex attack this target. So let me look at that. I don't know what that is. That's a mod anymore. It looks like a PT, but it's not. Uh, and the Rex is gonna go attack it. Now, if I wanna cancel that, I can just make the Rex follow me. Press the other key. There you go, now the Rex follow me. I can make it attack it. There you go, now the Rex is gonna try to attack that creature, but it's flying, so it's not gonna be able to do it. But you guys get the point, right? Once the creature lands, the Rex is going to go and try to kill it. Or not. Let's see. Yeah, it's 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 flying. So it's, the, Rex, the Rex won't try to kill it. Maybe this one over here. But anyways, you guys get the point. Uh, you guys understand what I'm talking about. Now, these are very simple macros. This macro is just an action that you can press one button to do. It's just like a, either one action or a sequence of actions. So in this case, I put one action, which is a... Well, let me make the Rex kill this guy. There you go. All right, nice. So let's create an advanced macro now. So in this case, I already have one advanced macro already created, but to get to the macros page, okay, you're gonna come over here to macros. Now, before we get to that page, okay, over here, you can go to the keys page and that's how you can actually assign keys to your mouse. So I can simply press T over here and then I drag it over to a specific spot. And there you go, T is gonna be there, just like so, okay? So I can drag over T over here, and now T is there, I have two T's now, okay? Let me get J again, put it right there. Cool. 
Now, on V1 of my mouse, okay, you might not have the same mouse as me. I have the G502. You might have the G402 or G900, okay? It doesn't matter. You should still have a few buttons to play with. In my case, I have 11 buttons to play with. So, over here on macros, okay, I can actually set up okay, a macro. So, let's click create new macro here. In my case, I already have one. This macro over here, what it's going to do is going to press J every 8 seconds. Now, of course, there's no real purpose for you to do this in game, but I'm just showing you how to do it. So let me just show you guys first how it works. Okay. So if I press this button over here on my mouse, as you can see right there. Okay. I just have to press it once. Okay. And it's going to press J every eight seconds. Okay. So let me show you. All right. So I'm going to press it once right now. There you go. And now in around eight seconds, it's going to press J again. And I don't have to do anything. It's just going to do it by itself. Just like so. It did it. Now it's going to wait around eight seconds again. And it's going to press J once again. So I can be chilling over here. And it's going to press J. Okay. Now let me make it stop following me. Now you guys can see that's going to work. Ready? Let's just wait. There you go. It's following me. Okay. And that's not me. That's just a macro. Okay. Because this macro, I don't have to keep pressing anything like that. I just press it once. Now I'm going to show you how to create different types of macros and everything. So let me do that right now. Let's talk about this macro. So let's actually open this macro over here. Let's see what I did. Okay. So over here I have, if I click, if I double click over here on this macro, okay, I can see that it's going to press J. It's going to wait 50 milliseconds. It's going to release J and it's going to wait eight seconds. Okay. And the type of this macro is a toggle, which means I press it once. It's like a light switch. You press the light switch once the light is on. You got to press it again for it to turn off, right? Same thing here. Okay. Now let's create a new one from scratch. So let's come over here and create a new macro. Let's see what I can do here. Let's do so that it presses U, which makes everything stay put. I'm going to name it U every four seconds. Okay. That's just the name of it. Okay. Cool. And now what I want to do is you can do different types of macros. So over here, no repeat means exactly that. You're going to press it once and then it's going to do it once. And then it's only going to do it again if you press it again, the key on your, on your mouse. You're going to have to hold the key down on your mouse. Okay. For it to keep repeating. Okay. It's going to keep repeating you every four seconds if I hold the key down. Toggle, as you guys know, it's a light switch. And sequence is a little advanced, but basically what sequence does is if you press it once and you let it go, it's going to only do it once. But if you hold it, it's going to keep holding. So it's the combination of these two. That's what sequence is. Okay. So right now, let's do something else. Let's do repeat while holding for this one. Okay. So it's only going to do you every four seconds while I'm holding the key down. Okay. And now let's do that. So let's click start now. Let's click on this plus button right here, record keystrokes. You can do several different things, but I'm going to do keystrokes. I'm going to press U, let it go. And then I'm going to click on the stop button right here. Now, if you just save it right now, what it's going to do is going to press U every 50 milliseconds. Okay. So you don't want to save it right now. What you want to do is you want to delete this U standard delay right here. Okay. So now you can actually play around with the delays over here too. And what you can also do is you can click on this plus button, click delay. And then now I can add four seconds. Four seconds is equal to 4,000 milliseconds, as we know. Right? There you go. So I can click save now. You can also modify this to like a higher milliseconds. So it's going to press U. It's going to wait 60 milliseconds. And then it's going to release. 60 milliseconds is very quick. Let's click save. Now we need to assign it somewhere. So let's assign it to this button. Okay. And now let's see how it works. So let's open the game. So now, as you guys can see, I'm going to press the key right now. Okay. And I'm holding it. I'm still holding it down. It's going to keep doing that. Now, if I use the other one, so let me press the other one once. I'm going to just press it and release it, the other one. The, the one that um, presses um, J, making everything follow me. Now, everything's following me, right? Now, if I hold down the press U every four seconds, okay, I need to hold it down. But the other macro is still working because the other macro is a toggle. So now I have two macros working at the same time. One of them requires me to hold down the button. While the other one, I simply did it once and I'm still doing it. So basically what it's doing here, it's making the dino follow me. Oh, that's a circle right there. Anyways, um, basically what I'm doing right now is, let me just press the key. It's pressing T, uh, J, sorry, to make everything follow me every few seconds. And at the same time, because I'm holding down the button, it's pressing U. Okay, every four seconds. Okay. And I can make, of course, if I press this button over here, I can make the dino this guy and I'm, if i press this button on my mouse okay as you guys know the side button anyway so that's pretty much it now if you want me to make anything specific like let's say you want me to make a macro that does something else or whatever right 
let me know I, and i'll definitely do it just type in the comments and i'll try to do it but of course you can always join my discord server and you can ask for help there and i can teach you how to do these things or anybody else can teach you how to do um these kinds of things okay these macros okay all right so that's pretty much it don't forget to subscribe to get content like this one and thank you for watching this video